Hi guys, Nick of Nicktastic Art. Thank you for being here. Tonight's piece, I'm pretty sure wanted to fight club me because I had a heck of a time. I started with One Direction. Um, I did use an Artist Loft White. I was getting a lot of pop-up white cells, which is not what I wanted for the piece. I overstretched it, so I decided, well, all right, we're gonna do something else. Um, we ended up flip cupping it, and because I love the colors and I love the paint, um, but it also had a problem, so then we added a swipe in it. So you're going to see a brief version of each of the beginning two uh, pieces that I couldn't live with. This thing wanted bubbles, and so that is its name now. It's called Bubbles. Join me on this journey. Hi guys, we've got a 20 by 20 canvas. I am going to do a freestyle, and we've got Prussian Blue Thalo from Amsterdam as the star of the show. So I'm going to uh, layer the colors in the cups and then um, lay a color block on here and then stretch it out. But I've got a plethora of colors. So there's the Prussian blue thalo. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is a little bit of a blue-green color to that. Um, this is a brand new color for me. It is sky blue light from Amsterdam. So we've got that one coming to the play. I've got my normal Amsterdam turquoise. I've got blue green from Amsterdam. I've got Arteza's pearl glacier blue. You guys know I love that one. Arteza pearl sea green. Arteza lime, pearl lime, and white. So that's the colors. I've got our cup right here. Um, I am gonna color block with the white, but I'm also gonna put it in the mix. And I think I want to put it halfway through. So we're going to start with the blue-green Amsterdam. And I'm okay if these mix a little bit, so not, not a problem for me. And then we're going to go, well, let's actually do the turquoise first. With the turquoise. And then I'm going to put the sky blue in there. And then we're going to go with pearl glacier blue and I'm just wiggling this on the top of it so some of it's mixing some of it's not and then we're gonna go with the straight turquoise and I'm gonna put in the sea cactus green I'm gonna put in the white and there's no way I'm keeping this order for the next round <laughs> because I won't be able to remember it. And then the lime green. I think that'll just be a nice little pop and accent here. Um, so for the next round, we'll see how close we can get. You guys can actually uh, keep better track of it than I do. Um, got a little boogie in there. So we're going back to the blue green. Keeping that mostly on the top of the cup. Then I didn't do the light first, so we did the regular turquoise. Had to have. Or not. Eh, if I got it wrong, that's okay. Then we're doing that Prussian Thalo. Prussian blue Thalo. Which I just love that color. I think it's so pretty. Then we'll do this sky blue. Then we're gonna do that pearl, glacier blue here, sea cactus, white, Lime green, and then we'll evaluate here because I think we're going to need some more paint. Um, and the only question is, we're going to be able to get enough in this cup. I 
Oh, such a gorgeous color. Turquoise. And because I'm going to put a color block down, we might be okay. That Prussian blue thalo is going to be gorgeous with those colors. All right, so what do I mean by color block? I'm going to grab this color here. Basically, I'm going to put white on this canvas where I want it to be the dominant color and basically occupy the space already with this. So I'm also going to put it right here. And I want it wide enough that it can hold its form. All right, so now we're going to just lay this color out. And you guys can see what I mean by I'm putting enough to color block areas. Going to bring that across. Yeah, we're going to need some more. Maybe. We'll see. I might be able to color block with another color. Okay, now I'm going to take this ribbon here right through this white. And the wider you want your ribbon, the slower you go. But it looks like my ribbon's getting really tiny here. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get him to be a full ribbon. So we're just going to keep... Whoop, that was a big drip. Yeah, he's not going to be a full ribbon. But what I do have is a good start on a ribbon right below here where it slid off. So I'm going to take that the rest of the way there. Because it will slide off and it'll be fine. Okay, wow, we got some really pretty things happening here. Just rocking the paint here a little bit so I can see what's going on and how much paint I've got. We are going to take that Prussian blue thalo and add it to some areas. So I'm going to occupy some space here with this Prussian blue thalo. I just like to say that, right? Unfortunately, I mean, this, we're going to lose the most, the part of the darkest part. But that's okay. Now I'm going to tip it back. Because I want that to kind of come back where it was. Stay there for a minute. Yeah, getting lots of little pearls up here. Hey guys, um, so I've been staring at this for a while and I do not love it. I love the colors, but I don't love the piece. And because of that, um, I'm going to change my mind here. So, when in doubt, ooh, <clears throat> flip cup. Just kidding. Now, I like to just swirl through, which is obviously going to be pretty easy right now given what, what we've got going on here. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to tilt it back here now. Obviously, I had to tilt it to get the spinner underneath it. I want that paint in the middle. Okay, so we're good on that one side. I need to tilt it this way a little bit more. Get that paint to flow. can save this. All right, so that's gorgeous. That's interesting. Need the corner to come off. Need that other corner to come off. All right. Okay, this is speaking to me a lot more than that other piece was. It's much darker than I was thinking without that lime green to kind of give it a lightness. It um, definitely feels a lot darker, but uh, this is definitely speaking way more to me than the other one was. Not crazy about this over here. It seems a little messy. Um, so we're gonna go the other direction with the spin. If I can just shift it a little bit, get some of this jaggedness off. Okay. And now I'm just going to take it to that far corner if I can. gonna come from here I missed that spot in the center there there wasn't anything I could do about that so I am gonna take my straw and blow the side here that I didn't get so that it kind of starts um, acting like a all right I'm not mad about that mad about that right there but what can you do okay so I think we need to do something else on this side to replicate that but I like the darkness of right here. It's just that corner that I'm not enjoying. So we are going to take this, clean it off. happening here. Just 
walking it down the knife. Okay. And we're going to come from the side here. Oops. Same thing again now, we're going to use that straw to kind of make it integrate. And here are the dried results. You can see um, we just leaned into the bubbles because they were going to go there whether I wanted them to or not. I think the swipe ended up working out. I did go back through with that bluish green from Amsterdam and darkened up some valleys. So those really predominant dark areas that you see here I added after the piece was dried. Um, I did also wash out the top right corner from the orientation that you're seeing, but this piece really doesn't have a direction. I've uh, turned it all four ways and it works all of them. So let's take a little closer look here at some of the areas. All right, hopefully you can, we've got it in focus here for you. So you can see some of these areas, I'm gonna go in here because there's just some super cute cells right there. A lot of really interest um, interesting sections. Um, a lot of these cells have the little double dots with multiple layers of color. Like that a lot. Um, the back areas that are kind of darker mixed flow sections that kind of form almost like a galaxy feel in the background. I think those are really good. Um, a lot of the areas that came into a, a cell, there's no silicone in here. This just happened from the swipe and from the paints that I had mixed up in the different densities. Um, but overall, I think it is an interesting piece. Um, let me get you back here. It is an interesting piece. Um, it's got some beautiful colors. I love this turquoise blue feeling in a piece. I'm not sure how I feel about the bubbles, but given the struggles I went through to get to something, I'm okay. This, this is something that resulted from... Uh, Fight Club with the paint. So keep working on a piece. Try and try and try until you get something that makes you happy. Don't settle for less. If you knew how many canvases I'd done something on and then had to redo, or when I, uh, you know, painted multiple times, you know, some canvases end up with two or th three pieces on them. That's pretty much the limit that I would go though, but. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this uh, crazy journey that we went on. Find your bliss.